welcome back. So this month we have been trying this challenge and it was like, um, we didn't eat any added sugar for an entire month. It was very hard. And in today's video, I guess we're going to be going through like this vlog of the month. Our benefits, how we feel at the end of the month versus the start of the month, and all of that stuff. The reason why we did this challenge was because I watched this video. It was by like the Wheezy Waiter. Or yeah, something. link so in the description. Showed it to him, yeah. And then I showed it to Megan, and I was like, do you want to do this? And then she said yes. So basically what no added sugar meant for us was that we had to read every label, make sure it doesn't have anything. Literally oh my, my mom did it with us, and she would go to the grocery store, and she would look at the food labels, and literally every single freaking packaged food had some sort of sugar in it, because... I didn't actually know this until like a couple weeks ago, but there are 61 forms of sugar and probably even more than that. I read like the 61 most popular ones. So literally like every single label had like maltodextrin, sugar, glucose, fructose, honey, and like the other like remaining 50. Another problem. If you search no sugar recipes on Pinterest, you will find things with honey. Oh my gosh, sugar so annoying. <laughs> like stevia and stuff like that. You'll find things with maple syrup. So I'm searching for a healthy recipe right now and I've gotten on the wrong side of Pinterest because all these amazing, like, all these amazing desserts are coming up and I just want to eat them all so badly. And when we say no sugar, we mean like only the sugar that naturally only occurs natural. in fruit. Honey, even though like it is natural and it does have benefits, but it's still sugar. So we weren't allowed to eat honey or maple syrup or agave. And we also didn't allow any artificial sweeteners like stevia. Yeah. Um, no fruit juices, even if it said it's 100% natural because it takes with fiber and stuff. Tomato sauce, we had to make it ourselves. Um, what else? Bread. We found one kind of sugar-free bread, which I'm very happy with because I love that bread. Yes. But at the start of the month, we didn't know about it, so we were just making homemade bread. So most bread does have sugar in it. We already yogurt knew this, is so but bad. yogurt, if you'll look it's at so the bad. sugar in yogurt, it'll be, it's supposed to be healthy, and then there's like 29 grams of sugar. So you're really just better off having like a bowl of ice cream, honestly. Yeah. Also peanut butter oh. and nut butters. They are really, like a lot of them have sweeteners in it. And non-sweetened peanut butter is disgusting. I tried yeah. it. I do not oh like it, James. Um, so we got this one um, almond butter for making some allergic to peanuts. Um, I opened it up. Same thing that happened with Megan's peanut butter. So disgusting. There was an oil disgusting. pile on the freaking almond butter. I had butter. to dump out the whole jar it. in a bowl oh. and stir. It was horrible. Guys, I had to dump <laughs> the entire can of peanut butter in a bowl. And now I'm stirring it to make it into peanut butter. Because there's so much liquid. We baked, um, we have like this home ec, like family studies class. We baked cookies, uh, twice. Plus I have all my Halloween candy. And last year at school I got high honors, which means we celebrated today. The last possible day I could not eat sugar. They give us cake at school. One more thing, I did cheat. The only thing I had had that had sugar in it that I didn't realize because I was having like a major cough attack, I had a cough drop. So basically our goals for this month, um, mine will be lose weight, um, I don't, I've watched a bunch of videos and they said they all like lost a lot of weight, and hopefully cut back on the sugar cravings. To have clearer skin, have less sugar cravings because every single day I crave chocolate and it's just a problem. So now we're going to show you our vlog and we will see you guys at the end for what we thought of the whole month. Today is day... Too. I feel like yesterday wasn't like too hard. Um, for breakfast, I started with a smoothie and some eggs and some toast. Eggs and the toast were really good, but the smoothie was disgusting because I didn't have any juice to put in it, or I and I could only put in like this no sugar yogurt, which is so disgusting. So. Um, I just ended up putting water and milk in it instead, and that still was. So I'm gonna try something different this morning, a different kind of smoothie. And I had a bunch of like bread snacks <laughs> throughout the night because I was so, so, so hungry. The first thing that I'm already realizing is how hungry I get like throughout the night. I just like eat something and I'm like, I'm still hungry. <laughs> so I ended up pretty much carb loading yesterday. I'm not really craving it back yet, which is a good thing, but it's probably just because I ate so many candies on Halloween the night before. But one, one good thing that I'm noticing is that I don't feel bloated at all. I just feel like 
normal and once I'm full, I feel full. I have came to conclusion that the strawberry pineapple smoothie is way better. Honestly, day two, it hasn't been too hard, but I have been getting cravings because it, it's November. Like, I just went out for Halloween a few days ago and I have all of the candy just sitting in the living room. After breakfast, my stomach has hurt so much. Like, it was crazy. And I don't know why, but it, it only happens in the morning. Meg and I are going to be making some energy balls. And instead of chocolate chips, I will be adding in some raisins. Half a cut of nut butter. Half a cut! I said half a cup. That sounded like half a cut. Half a cut! Listen to this. It's so just like peanut. <laughs> The oil separated. Ew. Okay. And pump. Done. Today is day five. I'm finally feeling the sugar absence, and it's really annoying. Um, I'm eating raspberries because I cannot eat anything with sugar in it. I thought that I was gonna do fine because up to today I was fine and I wasn't like craving stuff and we watched a video of two people who did it and they were like, oh yeah, day four is the worst and today's day five. So I was like, well, maybe I'm passing. Maybe it's not gonna happen to me, but now day five and I'm like, <laughs> I want sugar. Today is day eight and my mom made some sugar-free pizza and it looks so good. The cravings, like they were really bad through I'd say um, day four to day six. They were just so bad. I really wanted all of these sweets. But I even went to the grocery store today and we had to go through this candy aisle to find like pretzels and stuff. And um, I didn't quite crave any of the really nice chocolates or chips or anything. Like I didn't really want that. And also I have, uh, yesterday I had eight oranges because I was like, the thing is, I want sugar, but the sugar I want is, I am satisfied with fruit. And then I had, um, I'd say around four today. I'm gonna have, like, two more tonight. Yeah, my diet is basically oranges. <laughs> it's getting near Christmas, which means that, um, all of the Christmas things will be coming out, like Christmas chocolates and stuff. And I think that that's really where I'm gonna, like, drop. So I actually made these, um, sugar-free cookies. Uh, they look like this. They were just made by one cup of oats, one, two mashed bananas, and um, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Then, then you cook them at 350 degrees for 12 minutes. They are so freaking good. Oh my gosh. So it is day 11 and I tried making some chocolate peanut butter cookies and they are actually so good. They're not even like sweet but they satisfy a chocolate craving. So I'll have the recipe linked in the description. And then also we did these pancakes and I haven't tried them yet, but they look good so far. So I'd once again, not sweet, but taste good. And my mom and I went to the store. Bananas were on sale for 19 cents a pound. So here we are 25 bananas later, ready for the sugar-free fruit obsession. So today is November 16th and we are officially halfway through the sugar-free diet. So I thought today I would do like a little what I eat in a day and I would show you guys what I'm typically eating sugar free since I know it's not the easiest thing to do if you haven't like done it before. I love snacks, so cute. Um, this has nothing to do with our no sugar challenge but I just wanted to pop in here and talk about what we are doing right now. So it's snowing and like we're everybody's late for school. My bus did not show up. My class started 15 minutes ago and my mom is driving me. We've been on the same highway for 40 minutes. It's a 10 minute drive to school. And it's usually 10 minutes to get to my school. So I don't even think I'm gonna get there before first period um, ends because there's like a blue car in front of us and I think it's stuck on the road. That blue car is not moving. And the gray car is not moving. <laughs> the gray car is not moving. Blue car, move it is so, <laughs> It's so ridiculous out here. So I am finally home. I'm going to make some oatmeal for a little afternoon snack. So this is what I'm having for supper. I'm having some carrots and a baked potato and some chicken. 
All right, guys, so it's now the night, and I'm having a smoothie, and Maddie and I are watching some Christmas movies, and this is my bedtime snack. That's it for what I eat today. Hey, guys, so it is actually my birthday today, and I'm gonna have to show you guys what a no sugar birthday is gonna look like. I have this recipe online. I'm gonna try to make some sugar-free birthday cupcakes. They're pretty much gonna be banana muffins, but Hopefully they taste decent. Um, so I have my yogurt and banana puree and vanilla in the bowl, and I'm just gonna add some eggs. I'm making this a little bit of sweet. The batter is done. This is what it looks like, and it's a it's a pretty good texture for cupcake batter. Scale of one to ten, what's your rating? Eight. Well, that's pretty Ooh. Good. Megan got a good rating for sugar free cake. So that was our vlog of the month. Um, now we're just gonna go over a few things like how it benefited us and stuff. The cravings, like at the start, it was bad. It was really bad. And um, I feel like toward the middle, I had a few cravings here and there, but it wasn't actually that bad. And now, like, now that's the last day, I I literally took my box of chocolates and I put it next to my bedside table. So when I wake yeah. up in the morning, I'll do it. And holding that box of chocolates just made me want it. Like today, my friend ate a piece of cake in front of me, and I was just like, I really don't care. I don't even care about eating that. But, um, and that was, that lasted for like most of the month. I feel like after, like throughout December, my cravings won't be that bad because I'm used to not eating it. I just need a, just like a little bit to satisfy me. And another one of my goals was to have clear skin. My skin looks the exact same. So that goal did not happen. My last goal was that I could, uh, I was gonna lose weight, which I lost a pound, but I didn't actually lose a pound because I gained two pounds before I lost the pound, which I don't know if it was just muscle mass or if it was just oranges, um, but yeah, so I kind of succeeded. At the same time, I didn't though. And our mom lost six pounds, which yeah, she that's not she was fair. successful. I did not. I lost zero. People ask when people quit sugar if they feel better, and I mean there was a point in the month where I was feeling really really good, but then towards the end of the month, down. These last few days, I've been craving sugar, so I have started to carb load. And that means I just eat a whole bunch of bread and then I feel like crap and I feel bloated. So for most of the month, yes, I did feel better, but I didn't really have more energy. The energy levels were kind of the same. Oh, and when we say carbs, we mean bread. We don't mean like fruit and vegetable carbs. Um, she was carb loaded. I was, yeah, I was carb loaded too, but um, the main thing, I was orange loaded. Do you think this challenge was worth it? Yes because we're probably just healthier in general, but we didn't really receive any like major benefits that some of the other people that we've seen do this challenge did. And the final question that we're gonna talk about is, would we do this again in the future? No. Um, I'm kinda on the same side as Maddie, not gonna lie. I think I'll be more cautious of what I eat in the future and I think I will eat less sugar overall, but I'm not planning on doing like a complete like no sugar 100% like we did here because I think it's good to treat yourself. So we totally encourage you guys to try this in the future and let us know what you think because just because this is what, how we felt and like what happened to us, we've seen a lot of videos and they have like seriously changed their life like this diet has. It's just a good thing to try just to see how everything works out. And I'm not mad that I tried it so why, why wouldn't you honestly? Just why not? So we want to start this thing where every second month you guys give us a challenge and we're going to do it over the month. So it has to be something positive, but if you guys have any ideas or requests on videos, 30 day challenges that you want us to see, leave them in the description. Also, if you did like this challenge, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also, we went 30 days without sugar. We deserve a thumbs up, guys. Yes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'm Megan. We probably should have introduced this at the start, but I'm Megan. And I'm Maddie, and uh, we're Canadian sisters. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye. If this gets oh, uploaded. Oh, Christmas video start next Sunday.
So it's officially midnight. We stayed up till midnight because we wanted sugar so badly. That's why I have a lint um, white chocolate here. And I have my favorite Reese's PB cup. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I'm so good. That's so sweet. I Let's still go. think it tastes the same. It's so good though. Oh my gosh, that's sweet. <laughs> now on to the outro. And the phone just went off. Here, say hi to our viewers. Hi, viewers. <laughs>